Once you have a new Dex Prepare file set up for a client, you need to hook it up to QuickBooks Online. The reason for this is that these two programs need to be able to speak to each other. And if they can't speak to each other, anything you do in Dex will not show up in QuickBooks Online, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of having Dex. So we need to hook them up. We're going to do Abdul Kay's real estate today. So I'm going to pick his file, open up his file. I'm going to move my little picture over here because it's going to get in the way. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, choose connections and choose integrations. We're going to choose our software and we're going to locate QuickBooks online, as you can see right here, and we're going to connect to QuickBooks. It will take it a moment. It'll probably prompt us to log in. Sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it's not going to prompt me to log in. That's because I was already logged in uh, using Dext for another client. So if it does prompt you to a login page, you just have to put in your own login and password for QuickBooks. Now we're going to choose our firm. Don't install for the firm. Just choose our firm. And then we have to search for clients within our firm. So if I type in the first few letters of Abdul's name, I'm going to pick his real estate venture. I'm going to say next. And then I'm going to connect these two files together. So I'm connecting his Dex to prepare account with his QuickBooks online. This usually takes a few minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'll resume it once the lists have imported. Okay, it's done integrating. So now we are going to be, uh, we're going to see ourselves here as a final step. Please complete the following configuration. We do want to publish tax data. So we're going to turn that on. You should be picking now your default tax for cost. Now, sometimes when you do this, it's only going to say none. The tax codes aren't going to show up here. If that's the case, you have to leave. You just have to wait. It takes about five minutes. So you're going to just wait, maybe come back to it in a bit do something else for a few minutes, then you're going to have to go back into connections, integrations, and then finish it up. So this is here. Great. So we're going to pick a default tax as HST. Uh, default exempt is exempt. Uh, default tax for sales is HST and exempt. And then you're going to say next and finish. So now we have this set up for integration into QuickBooks online. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching.